Hey guys, I'm back for another stream, and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. And today, we're gonna be experimenting again. Anyone remember the Ender Armor video? And then the video that came after it about Mushroom? Well, I figured out another way to break the game with mathematics. So, as you guys can see, there is a spooky festival starting in 30 minutes, and that is approximately the amount of time we're going to need to prepare an armor set that will supposedly give us the most effective max HP out of anything in the game right now. So with the dungeons update came some special items called the Recombobulator, as well as the Fuming Potato Book. So anyway, I've prepared a couple contraband uh, backpacks here. I've got two greater bags, and these things are absolutely loaded. We've got enough Fuming Potato Books to max out a set, 40 enchanted baked potatoes, a level 90 something blaze pet, as well as seven superb carrot candy to get it to 10 out of 10 candy used. Hardened skills for 25 defense. We got four recombobulator 3000s. I bought these back when the price was at like 15 mil, so that's a lot of contraband. Growth six, prot six, and four diamond atoms to give the perfect reforge. All going on a bat person set. So bat person sets actually fairly similar to the mushroom set. It triples all your stats, but only during the spooky festival instead of at night. But what makes Bat Person better than Mushroom is its rarity. Bat Person is a legendary armor set, and with the Recombobulators, it is going to be mythic. And whatever Reforge we give it, which will be perfect, will be multiplied by three. And on top of that, we're going to give 40 hot potato books and whatever uh what is it 20 fuming potato books those will also be doubled again by the fusion style potato ability on the blaze pet so let us start off by upgrading the bat person set to mythic i've never used a recombobulator before so i'm really excited to see how this goes there we go mythic <laughs> look at this dude it has been recombobulated are you using contraband? Yes, this is worth like 300 million coins. You think I have all that? No. Okay, so next up, we're going to be giving it the perfect reforge, which is currently unknown for mythic rarity. No one knows how much it gives. For legendary, you get an 8%, or you get, what is it, 80? You get 80 defense, plus 2% defense globally per piece. Now, let's see what it gives you with mythic. Oh, that's going to cost coins. I didn't know that cost coins. Good thing I have actual money on me. Boop. <laughs> wow. Defense plus 110. So that's 30 more than with legendary rarity. That is insane. I have almost 1300 defense and the spooky festival hasn't even started yet. That's pretty sick. And we're not done yet. So now it is time to enchant it with growth six prot six now this might require some xp levels which is why i got these boom there we go fully enchanted and 10 and then we'll add those to the helmet so if you guys don't remember the theory behind the previous two videos i was using the ability of the blaze pet to double hot potato book bonuses and of course with the mushroom armor the ender armor bat person set they all have an effect that either doubles or triples all stats including hot potato books so in this case i'm going to be getting a six times increase in hot potato book bonus but now because of dungeons i can go even further with that so now that's when we introduce the fuming potato books which increases the limit from 10 per piece to 15 per piece Fifteen per piece done now let's try this out where it's during the day which means not even a doubling of my stats during the day i have 1700 hp and 900 health and that's with no multiplication going on damn all right next up here's the blaze pet this is actually an upgraded blaze pet the one i had in the previous video was only like a level 87 this one's like a 93 so it's not quite perfect, but it is still much better. And that's why I have seven superb carrot candy to try and get it up even more. Mm. 
96. 96 now. So it's very close to level 100, only four levels away. Also for the pet item, we're gonna give it hardened scales, which gives 25 defense. So boom. Yep, it gives us plus 54 defense. If I despawn it. Okay, so I have 1,551 HP and 900 defense. Now if I equip this, Ooh, 240 more health, and like, now we're above a thousand defense, and it's during the day, not during Spooky Festival. Not shabby. Oh, I completely forgot, chat. There's one more thing we have to do. Yeah, we need to change all of our talisman reforges. Did I mention this is an expensive video? So we're gonna change our entire accessory bag to a reforge called pleasant that's why i have a spool in the contraband thing so i could change my reforges back to what they were before the video but yeah we're gonna get we're gonna put our entire talisman bag on pleasant so this gives us defense <laughs> look at my defense during the day that person doesn't even give any bonuses during the day not spooky festival almost 1500 defense Oh, and you know it's easy too. They updated the game, so now when you click here, it says your effective max HP now all the way at the bottom. See that red text? Effective health, 27,721 HP. I have a few extra talismans. It's not gonna make that big a difference, but we might as well set these to pleasant as well. So let's do that. Now, one thing I'm gonna have to do here, we're gonna purchase something. <laughs> a golem sword. Golem Sword gives you plus 25 defense. So there we go. We are almost at 1500 defense without any bonuses from the armor. Oh yeah, we can, I also have a level 100 uh, whale pet here for testing purposes. If you guys are curious whether or what difference the blaze pet versus the whale pet would make, we can test that later. Is there anything else that we can do, chat? I think there is one more thing we can do. And that's the um, the ultimate enchant that gives you more defense when you're close to dead. And again, it's not even nighttime yet. Now, there's also the Blazing Fortress. Now, before it goes Spooky Festival, let's go to Blazing Fortress and see how much of a difference that makes. Because of the Blaze Pet. Oh, my lordies. Oh, my. 40,000 effective max HP before Spooky even starts. <laughs> Oh, we are messing with the game right now. I got 70,000 effective max HP. Well, you guys got to remember the I'm going to be tripling my stats. So theoretically, right? Here's my guess. My effective max HP is going to go from 40. Th oh, it just went to 92,000. I think it's because it's turning night. It is. It's probably going to be along the line of like over 100K. Wait, you just said I got 70,000, right? <laughs> We've already beaten it. 93,000 effective max HP. Almost 3,000 defense, 3,000 HP during the night. All right, chat, you ready? Spooky Festival starting very soon, in two minutes. And then we're going to head to the... Well, but first of all, we're going to stay here and see how our effective HP is. And then we're going to go to the Blazing Fortress. We're going to become the strongest... Well, not the strongest, the healthiest player in Hypixel Skyblock. Any second now... Oh, it says it started. Oh, it did! 118,000 effective max HP. Holy crap. That is so much. And we're not even in the nether. Hold on. Blazing Fortress. Oh my. <sighs> Over 4,000 HP and almost 4,000 defense. <laughs> 167,000 effective max HP, chat. That is so much health. <laughs> it, that's like bruh <laughs> we are not it is impossible to die now we, we're just this is our life now i can fly up as far as the game will let me and i will drop to the floor and i will not die probably uh, falling uh. Uh, oh i forgot i'm wearing bat person said so i don't take fall damage very good <laughs> there's no way to test how good my <laughs> there's no way to be able to test how good my hp is because i don't take fall damage chat look these mammy cubes are doing three damage to me three damage all right you know what i'm gonna head off to the end 
So this is the maximum HP in high pixel skyblock. The maximum effective max HP. That's a mouthful. But this is basically the highest health you can get in the game. It's 167,000. If I were to recombobulate all my talismans, I might be able to get it to like 180,000, 190,000. That's as good as we can get right now. I think I'm going to do a sequel to this video once I do get enough money for recombobulators in like six months. Because that's going to take a while. And there'll probably be some other stuff. But this is the fourth video in the series of highest health in the game. Let's go to the Coliseum. So I'm not going to have as high of a health stat, but I mean, 117k and effective HP is still pretty good. Here we go. I survived for so long. <laughs> oh yeah, try blue whale. That's a good point. So let's go back to the blazing fortress and I'm gonna try swapping my pet. So if you guys remember, right? Let's go here. My max HP is 167,000. Now, if I switch my pet to level 100 um, whale, 125,000. So I lose 42,000 effective max HP for switching to whale pet. That's insane. You're a brick wall. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm honestly, oh, you know what? Let's go to the end and test this out. Oh, so you know what's funny, chat? This doesn't work in dungeons. Like they've specifically seeked out uh, that person set and they disabled it in dungeons. <laughs> Otherwise this would be the best tank set in the game. I don't think it bugs true damage. I'm probably gonna get one tapped in the, uh, the fire trial, but people wanna see it, so might as well try it. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? That actually, what? <laughs> Hold up, what? <laughs> the whale pet's actually better in the hub? Okay. Well, pfft. that I was not expecting. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is fun. It's mad now. It's frustrated that it can't hurt me. Don't attack it. Stay away. Oh, it's enraged. It's pissed. But it's not able to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. And he spawned. Well, final stand theoretically can increase our defense by like 40%, but we can't even get that low in health to even test that. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting into an end lobby anytime soon. But hey, that was a cool test of this armor. Now, there's a few improvements I can make next time because, let's be honest, this is a series at this point, uh, using mathematics to obtain massive amounts of health in Skyblock. So I think the problems with this setup is that I haven't recombobulated all my talismans. I'm missing Scarf's Thesis, or whatever the name of the maxed out version of the talisman is. I could technically get that. I could recombobulate everything. <laughs> What else could I do? Um, I could get ultimate enchants. I think the one I would want is last stand, but right now it's way too pricey to get on the full set. Um, and I think maybe if I were to get like rejuvenate, it would help my regen. So we're going to shelf this project for another like month or two before I can get all of the required money to do this. It's called scarf's grimoire. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll do that another time. Well, anyway, for now, I guess that's it. Also, by the way, stream, <laughs> um, let me specify. I'm not ending stream. This is for the video. We're going to keep streaming after this. <laughs> but anyway, this is for the video only. So if you'd like to purchase my Badline Client Cloak, the link will be in the description and the pinned comment. You'll support me. And if you use my code 30 virus at checkout, you'll get 10% off. Pretty neat stuff. Anyway, I guess that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.